Okay, Sandra and I are in Southport, North Carolina, which is in Brunswick, Brunswick County, North Carolina. We are not staying here overnight in the motorhome, but we're just visiting it. We're actually staying uh, in uh, Carolina Beach State Park, and this is this is one of our annual trips we like to go. But here in Southport, they have a huge uh, cemetery. It's actually called the Old Smithville Burying Ground. And uh, we like to come here quite a bit. We used to take the kids here uh, a lot back when we stayed at our uh, in-laws place at Oak Island. We used to come here at nighttime with flashlights and uh, look around the uh, cemetery. Kids loved it. But um, the uh, earliest stone here uh, could be anywhere between 1745 and 1804 um, from what the sign states here. And so, but let's walk around here and see if I can show you some cool little things in this uh, cemetery. One of the things I really think is really just cool about this whole area in Southport are these trees. I mean, they just all seem to have a little character to their own. And in this cemetery here, or quote-unquote the burial ground, the burying ground, um, it seems to add a little bit more character to the cemetery as a whole. And so, uh, but um, this place is absolutely just ginormous. This one here, we did a, we did a ghost tour mm -hmm. a couple years ago. And um, one of the areas of the ghost tour that we went was here. If you guys ever get a chance to do the ghost tour in Southport, um, do make it a destination. They do a really good job. I, the lady um, dresses up as the as they would in that era. And uh, but this was one of the markers. Sandra is thinking that they pointed out. And what was the background on this one? This woman had all these babies and they died within like just a few months after they were born. One of them lived to be 13 months old. The other ones, this, these must have been, these must have been twins because one was three months and 23 days and one was three months and 24 days. This one was three months and 15 days. This one was 13 months and 13 days. And then So they two, think she might have killed the, her children. These two, you can't see the death date because of the dates that they were so co so close. Uh huh. That they they think that she might have she might have murdered them. She might have had a what do they call that? The um. What but postpartum call? depression Maybe or something? What do they call that? Or um, I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Here is a, what apparently may be a newborn. Um, yeah, it lived seven days. Seven days. Yep. It lived seven days. Yep. Wow. That is tiny. Stand over there near it for scale. Oh, That's how tiny it is. Put pennies and these, these. Now there's a, there's a meaning for that though. It, the, it's like a remembrance thing. Okay. I know in the Jewish cemeteries, there's rocks. They put rocks. rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to they put rocks, if I remember correctly, and uh, we've seen that. We've actually seen that, and hopefully, um, we can uh, get over to Wilmington. They have a giant, huge cemetery out there, and so if we can um, remember that, we'll we'll show that. But yes, yeah, Sandra just put a penny on this one, and so at any rate. And that was, what was the date on this one? 1893. 1893. Yep. 1893. This one here, what'd you say about this one? Um, There's two children buried here? Yeah, they died of yellow fever, it says, in the fall of 1862. They died of yellow fever. Uh -huh. Yellow fever. And so... And then this woman over here, this is Captain... This is Captain John Brown... He died in 1834, age 78. His wife is right here. She was 103, two months, and 18 days old. Wow. 
that was that was one thing that we've noticed about some of the old um, cemeteries or the cemetery markers. They'll actually put down all the way to the days, uh -huh. and uh, they were alive. A hundred and three. A hundred and three. Yeah. It says her deeds of kindness outnumber her days. Wow. A hundred and three, two months, and eighteen days. That's amazing. Wow. Wow, the she story she could tell. Now, I mean, think about that. Now, she died when? 1892. She was born 1788. I mean, think of the stories. Yeah. The stories that person could tell. And so, but, uh, again, you can really see the, some of these markers are very elegant, like this one right here. And so, it's just, it really is. I'm talking, you guys really want a spooky little walk. You guys that are into cemeteries like we are, if you're weird like us, come on out here and check this place out. I mean, nighttime is just really something. It gives it a whole new perspective when you see this place at night. Here's one with an interesting name. It says the grave of Napoleon Bonaparte Brown. And so... Um, he was 12 years old. Interesting. He died when he was 12 years old. 12 months old. 12 months, 8 months. 12, 12, years. 12 years, 8 months. Interesting name. We've seen some other coins like this one here. There's quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. And so what she did is she looked it up. This guy's name is William Bell. Okay. And so what did you find out about the coins? The origin, <clears throat> sorry, the origin of the coins began when with soldiers you were put pennies on the graves um would show respect and honor of the deceased it can also symbolize that the person visiting the grave has paid their respect so that's what it means but in military if it's somebody in the military if it's a penny you're visiting the grave a nickel means that you were trained in boot camp with them and a dime means that they were in your infantry and a quarter means that you were with them when you then when they died hmm well i'm seeing a couple quarters here well i don't think people know what that i think they just put money <laughs> I mean, on there, i'm telling you what this guy died a long time ago yeah so and so at any rate that's, that's a, where the tradition of putting the coins on the grave started from was with the military interesting very interesting and so but guys, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to head on to some other things in Southport. But again, the old Smithfield burying ground. If you guys get a chance to come out here, very educational, um, historical, um, uh, just a, a cool place to come to. And if you want to check out the uh, that ghost tour, uh, just look up ghost tour in Southport. And uh, they do a good job. They also, like I said, they'll check this place out tell some spooky stories about it and then they'll go to the the jail and then certain little aspects about it and that's the reason we like that's the reason we like going to the uh, ghost tours is because it's not just the spookiness of it but it's the historical stuff that you learn about the areas and so we've been to a number of ghost tours already and uh, but again old Smithfield uh, burying ground.